with a stapler. <laughs> I heard Mike had to give up that nice suit. Yeah? He got too attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Palmese has been a disease since he was five. He had it covered. Don't make things any easier. My uncle's a stubborn man. Stubborn enough to go to war? I don't know what is that. There hasn't been a war since the Colombo thing. Everybody decided. No one's going to the mattresses this day and age. I got a top of the line pastorpedic in my house. Fuck it. Jackie hadn't gotten sick, none of this would have happened. When you're right, you're right. It's one of us captains got to step up. If I can control the top, it's fucking up this whole family. Well, that's true. Say that again. But I know if the old man were here, instead of in that cell in Springfield, he'd say, Raymond, this is your moment. Go easy with the grease gun, OK? What? Well, you're the boy wonder. Both him and Jackie both had you picked from day one. Now you got the age, you got the seniority. I also got an 18-year-old with MS, OK? I told Lucci I'd be doing less, not more. All the respect to your cripple kid, you just don't want to wire up your ass. You don't want the headache. You see, that's why you should be boss. You're so fucking smart. And it's physically challenged. Absolutely. Why don't we run this thing like a council? Larry, the old guy set this up as a paramilitary organization. We need a supreme commander at the top, not the fucking Dave Clock Five. Now face it, T. You and Junior are gonna have to duke it out. You gotta be boss. Number one, I love the man. Number two, he's got New York behind him. Not for anything. God bless your uncle. But he's living in the wrong century, and New York knows it. You want it, T? You'll get there, okay? It's the right thing. It's inevitable. I don't want no disturbance. Tell me why this was a smart move to make Junior the big willy. Look at him. He's content. Thinks he's the king of kings. Truth is, every decision is made by me. I still worry about the money end. It's because that's what you do, you worry. He doesn't know we can back to Jackie. We're gonna do good. Point is, he's got the title. He's a happy fucking camper. The house is secure. Yeah, knowing now we got a brand new lightning rod on top to take the hits. Smart. Very smart. Yeah, and now you got Bloomfield and the union chair. <laughs> well, otherwise you'd fuck me, Larry, but you wouldn't respect me in the morning, would you? <laughs> as long as you're guaranteed to keep the old font in line. Yeah, I still love that man. I'm his favorite nephew. Look at him. Over there with my mom. Most people went through World War II. I thought I was the only one Junior could make look like that. All right, let me hear it. What's the Irish? What about him? He took a header off the faults. That's the closest that junkie fuck ever got to a bath. Yeah, well, I got news for you. That junkie fuck was my biggest earner. During the football season, he moved more cards than 10 guys put together. And another thing, a certain friend of ours should have checked with me before he did a favor for the old man Capri. You're losing me. Irish was the one who sold Capri's grandson that shit. I think you created a fucking Frankenstein in Junior. I created? We all agreed to let Junior have his day. Let him be the lightning rod. And when lightning strikes, God forbid, and somebody goes down, it's not a young man with a family. You remember this? We all agreed. Yeah, we agreed. But who the fuck expected to get raped over here? I mean, when Jackie was acting boss, no one minded, because it all evened out at the end of the day. But your uncle, Madon, does he eat alone? He doesn't even pass the salt. <laughs> what about that Sammy Grigio card game? That fucking Mikey smacked him around. That ain't right. Come on, Jimmy, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Junior was right, he had a position. That game wasn't paying anybody. The minute Sammy Grigio used Jimmy's name, it should have been end of story. That's right. What do you want me to do? Hey, we made our bed, we sleep, and we're all men. But how long are we gonna continue to kick upstairs without it hurting? I mean, something, anything, should trickle down over here, no? All we want you to do is talk to him. 
After all, he's your uncle. Come on. That's right. Hey, Mama Olivia, how are you? Do you remember me, Larry Boy Barisi? Well, I know who you are. Yeah, you lit an apartment house on fire and scared your mother half to death. <laughs> Mama's moving in here on the 15th. Ooh, I like your shoes, Larry Boy. Yeah, Mama hasn't been well in the mind. Last week, she threw a jar of artichokes at me. Well, she better not throw any artichokes at me. <laughs> Ma, how you doing? Hello, Larry. Water under the bridge. Yeah, we're gonna take a walk. We'll be right back. You should get some shoes like his. I'll tell you something, Tony. You've always been a fucking genius, but this last move was the best move you ever did. The feds are never gonna surveil an old folks home. Yeah, I know. That's why I got six truckloads of bootleg pollen coming in. <laughs> hey, there James. How you doing? Did you get your mother settled into a suite yet? They're not sure they're gonna accept her. They want to see my financial statement again. So this office supply chain coming up from Virginia. What's the deal on them? I spoke to them. I think they're gonna listen to reason on minority hiring. 